Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright. So step number three was actually pretty key and cool. Um, I, I figured this out because I was looking at some of the participants and you know, in the planning stage of my work and before the healing and I noticed people, some people, some of the sample people had like a wall up that was limiting how much of the healing energy that I was going to be sending in the healing they were open to and also how much help from their angels they were open to. Um, and it turned out everybody, you know, had to some extent a wall up between them and their angels or them and divine assistance. And since I use gold light in the healings, which is, you know, it's of course not as awesome as angel healing, but it's a, it's a sort of a cousin of it, let's say, <laughs> cause you know, I'm human sending it to you, but it is this, you know, gold light, universal gold healing energy that I use. If you're blocked to one of those, you're blocked to the other, you know? So if you're partially blocked to one, you're partially blocked to the other. And obviously you want to be as open as you can be to divine assistance and also to getting the most of the healings that you paid for from me, right? So all you have to do is imagine a wall that you have that is blocking, you know, you from receiving you know, imagine the wall that you're ready to clear right now, right? Because say you have a wall that's like kind of giant, that's too big to clear in one day. <laughs> so just imagine what's healthy and gentle for you to clear right now, but of the, the wall that you have in the way of you receiving divine assistance, okay? And you can just imagine it like a wall out in front of you, okay? And again, this is just what's healthy and gentle to clear today, but any wall that you have up in the way of receiving divine assistance, healing energy, all right? Like angel healings and stuff. So, and just imagine the wall and then just, you could bring up red earth energy and soak the wall in the red earth energy and then gold light. Just use lots of gold light, melt away if anybody is corded to the wall or you are, you know, so gold light, just melt away energy cords going into the wall and just imagine that that's happening and then just keep using gold light to melt the wall away. Like my wall is getting thinner and thinner and thinner. And now my wall is crumbling, but there's a little bit that's still kind of tall. There we go. Now it's all sort of crumbled at the bottom. So just a little bit extra gold light there. Okay, so if you have any leftover wall, that you're supposed to clear today, but it's still some of it's there. Just ask your angels to clear it for you. Just with your mind, just say, angels, can you help me finish clearing that? And they will. But that was, I don't know, one of the coolest parts of the whole healing. <laughs> Cause it, it, it's so simple, but it, it really did help people receive more uh, in the healing and get a bigger result. So very cool. I think you're awesome for learning about energy healing and how it all works and how your energy works. So bye.